Today we're going to be installing these air lifter helpers. This is for a coil spring truck, van, whatever you have. And if you know anything about coil springs, when you're pulling a heavy load, the truck will squat super bad. So these will help stiffen it up. We're going to do a little how-to video for you guys on a 2017 Ram. I believe that's the fifth gen. Anyways, let's get into the video and show you how to install these. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. These are gonna be what goes inside of the coil springs. Got two of them. Got a hose so you can put air in them. And looks like some zip ties. And I'm guessing these probably go on the top. And instructions, don't need those. All right, step one, jack your truck up. Step two, take off your wheels so you can get to the coil spring. You can do it without that, but it's gonna make life a lot simpler if you just go ahead and take them off. Ah. Ah. Moving the valve core so we can compress these so they fit in easier. All right, so take that little guy out of the valve stem. That is valve stem. You gotta squeeze it down. Easier of two people. You could probably honestly squeeze in a vise or something if you're doing it by yourself. So we got it nice and squeezed, and then when you have it squeezed down, put the, what do you call this? The valve stem? Valve stem. Back the valve in. Valve core. The valve core back in, and then you let go, and it'll stay kind of squished. All right, so you gotta do it from the second opening up here, <laughs> with the valve stem goes on the top. Keep working it. Push right here. I'll put it right here. There you go. And now you wanna go ahead take and the valve core back take the valve core out so it is no longer squished and then run your hoses. See it swelling up. There it goes. And that's what you want. Just like that. All right, so you gotta put your hose it has to come out of the top of the coil spring there. Oh, this will be rubbing as a frame. If I need to put something on to protect it right there. Pull all your hose through there. Show you a closer look of where we went through here in a second once we get this in. Where's that puck in? Now you want to put your puck in there. Like that. With the smaller side up. Like so. And you'll just screw your hose onto your bag there. 
Some of them just slide into a little clip. These are a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's hard tone, but I have to go through the very top there above the coil spring. Now, when you're running your hose, you want to make sure it's not going to be rubbing on any sharp objects because it is just a hose and it will puncture it over time. So it is, put something over to protect it. It comes with these little sheets that you can slide on the hose there in case you do have to go into some sharp objects. But we're going to run it to the back of the bumper here and put the valve about right here. And when the truck's on the ground, you won't be able to see it. It'll be easy to put air to it when needed. Now, every truck's going to be a little different on how you are going to have to run your hose, but it should be pretty simple. Right, so now you put your valve on. It does come with some washers. You put one on top, one on bottom, and then it just comes with a nut so you can tighten it down. Damn it. You have to trim your hose to fit as square as possible. Alright, that's the extra hose we have left. Done with that. Alright, this side is done. Now repeat the process on the other side and you should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and put air in the bags to check them for leaks to see if they're good. Squirt it down with a spray bottle, see if anywhere bubbles. Oh, it's not. What's wrong? I don't know. Check it. No, I'm just blow them up. How much is that? 49. Pretty dang good. Yeah, it looks pretty serious over here. Oh, yeah. That thing's nice and blown up, ain't it? Squirt it down. Looks good. Yeah, it's definitely leaking. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. It was pretty simple to do. Uh, just if you guys have any questions, I don't think you will. I think we explained it good enough, hopefully. But yeah, pretty simple thing to do, and these things do work. My dad had them on his last truck. Don't know if I'd recommend these Firestone ones because the left side is actually slightly leaking, which is not good, but we'll get it fixed. I'll put a link down in the description if you do want the Firestone ones, but like I said, yeah, I don't know. Get you some other ones.